everybody doing this morning? Awesome. That's good to hear that you all are doing fine. So class, can someone remind me the topic that we did in last class? Excellent, Paul. We did sets. Now class, I want you to look here, pay keen attention to these two containers. I have your container A and I have container B. Can someone tell me, after observing these two containers carefully, tell me what you notice about these two containers? Go ahead, Ruth. Good job, Ruth. So, Ruth said container A has two corks while container B is empty. Now, I want us to make container B the same as container A. Now, tell me somebody, what do we do to make container B the same as container A? Good job, Sarah. Sarah said we have to put two corks inside of container B to make it the same as container A. Now, class, if you look here, I have two white corks and I have two red corks. Anybody, which of these two corks should I put in container B to make it the same as container A? Sam said we put the two red corks. Does that everyone agree with Sam? Okay, Felicia, you said you do not agree. Tell me why you do not agree with Sam. Excellent job, Felicia. So, Felicia said, in order to make set B the same as set A, we have to put two, the two white corks in, in set B, which is correct. So, now that we've made set B the same as set A, can anyone tell me what they think today's topic is going to be? Okay, Mark said same set. So anyone else want to, want to make a try? Good job, Akila. Akila said equal sets. So class, the topic for today is going to be equal sets. Does anyone have an idea of what would be the, the definition of equal sets? Good job. Akila said... Equal sets are sets that has the same elements. Now class, look here on the board. I have a definition of equal sets. Read as I read. Equal set is defined as two sets having the same elements. Two sets A and B can be equal only on the condition that each element of set A is also the element of set B. Now class, that definition there is simply saying that if set A has two white corks, set B must also have two white corks. So the key words in that um, explanation there, set A has two white corks. So two white quarks in set A, set A, set B must also have two white quarks, not two red quarks. Good. So class, since we already have a clear idea on what equal sets are, I want you to look here. I have examples of equal sets. Can somebody tell me what they observe about these two sets? Go ahead, Martha. Good job, Martha. So Martha said the first two sets, set A and set B, has number one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four in order. While set the two sets at the bottom, set C and D, has A, B, C, and C, B, A, 
which are the same elements, but they are not in the same order. So here I want you pupils to pay keen attention that we can arrange the sets in different order, but once they have the same amount of elements, it's still called equal sets. Is everyone clear on that? Awesome. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, no questions. So, class, I have here two groups. I have two activities. I'm going to give group one, activity one, to match equal sets. And I'm going to give group, um, group two an activity to make equal sets with some materials that I have here. So, group one here is your matching and group two here is your materials to match equal sets. Okay, since you all have, were given your different tasks, I'm going to give you five minutes to complete. You In this video, we will discuss about equal sets. Consider two sets, A and B. We observe that every element of A is also an element of B, and every element of B is also an element of A. Therefore, we can say A is equal to B. Two sets are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements. Let's discuss a few examples. X be the set of prime numbers less than 6, and Y be the set of prime factors of 30. Clearly, both the sets have 2, 3 and 5 as their members. Therefore, X is equal to Y. Consider sets, C and, D. We observe that, every element of C is an element of D. But, 9 belongs to D and it does not belong to C. Therefore, C is not equal to D. Let P be the set of letters forming the word good, and, Q be the set of letters forming the word God. Clearly, both the sets have same members, that are, G, O, and D, therefore, P is equal to Q.
finished watching the video. Did you all enjoy that video? Awesome. And do you have any questions before we end today's class? Okay, class. So I'm happy that everyone have a clear understanding and equal sets. Now, I want you all to have a wonderful, safe, and blessed remainder of the day. Goodbye until next class.